Hi everybody, it's Wanda. So it's about almost eight o'clock at night and I don't usually do this, but I just wanted to come down here and play. I put in a lot of hours at work today and um, did some investigating, which I really like to do. And usually I get tied up in it and then time goes by fast. And that's one reason I like to do it because time goes by fast, but I think it's fun. So what I have is 11 by 14. It is not a gallery wrap. It says on my sheet that I have down here that I go by that it takes about five ounces of paint. I have a little bit of a blue that I mixed up. I think it says on here that it was some Anita's white mixed in with some cobalt and maybe a little turquoise added to it. This one is Craft Smart Purple that I added white Anita's Metallic to. This one is Golden Teal, just because I have a whole bunch of it mixed up. And this one, I believe, is Anita's Rose, Metallic Rose. Yeah, had a little of that left. So what I've done is put about, this is a five ounce cup, and I probably have about three ounces of paint in it. I wanted something kind of springy and pastel because it's cold here and I don't like it. So I'm just gonna dump in some colors until I get the thing to the top. See what happens. And I may try to come out with some way of, I don't know, pouring it that's different. I'm trying to decide what I wanna do here. I know y'all have heard me say that before. Cause sometimes I come down here without a pre-plan in my head. I do like having this all in my basement. Um, it really is nice. I appreciate it. I'm very grateful for that. I have mixed these sort of thin. I hope they are thin enough to move and do a good job of moving. I really hate to kind of scrape the cup because I think these have been mixed up for a while. So, hope you all had a good day. Something good, really good happened to you because that's always such a joy, especially if it's unexpected. Unexpected really good things are wonderful. I try to maintain an attitude of gratitude. Now this one is not mixed one to two like the others. Those are one part paint, two parts Floetrol probably. This one is teal, golden, and it's mixed one part Gloss, Liquitex gloss medium and varnish, one half part paint, and then three or four parts of Floetrol. And my cup is now to the top. Put that over there so I don't knock it over. One thing I was thinking about doing, I do not have, I just realized I do not have on my um, apron. I usually wear an apron down here. One thing I thought about doing is what Sherry did that I think she saw a mixed media girl do with the finger paints or the hand. You know how the kids will finger paint and you lay your hand down and you put like around and around and around and around to get the shape of your hand. But Sherry poured her paint over the top of her hand and I love the way it feathered out. So I think I'm going to try something like that and it looks like I have all my white in the bottom. I certainly hope we get a little mixture here. So maybe I'll just start out like this. Because I really need all this paint. I just lifted my fingers up without meaning to. Oh, that white's gonna blur everything out. Maybe I can get it to come off the side here. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Okay, I've got a rag here. I'm gonna lift my hand up and actually try to wipe off or tilt this paint off over here. Not coming off. Okay, that was fun. Let's see what happens. I'll put a link to uh, Sherry's painting video and 
mixed media girl, I believe is who she said it was. I'll go in and investigate and I'll put a link to them in my description box so you can go watch what they did. And I'm going to tilt this this way. Certainly hope I have enough paint. I don't think I have enough paint. I'm gonna lose a lot of my design that I would not have if I'd have had a bit more. I like these colors. I think it should have been a little thicker because I think I thinned it out too much this time. I really like that top. I wish I'm not gonna lose it, but I am going to have to lose it. Oh, I like this. I do like it. See if I got enough paint, I can center it a little bit. Yes, I think this would done done better if I had had a little thicker paint this time on this. I'm so amazed by this little thing right here, this pink. I kind of wonder if there's something down in there, but I think I left my tweezers across the basement. So that's what I have. I'm going to take the uh, camera down and give you all a close-up because it's rather interesting. I don't know what it looks like, but it's rather interesting <laughs> and I like it. So I will take the camera down. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day, evening, night, and you come back and watch me again. Thank you. The colors look a little more intense in this camera than they do in person, but I love all this. I really, really do. As pale and as little pink as I had, there's a lot of striations in there that are showing, and the white is not as bright either. It looks more faded out and pink. More pink from the way I'm seeing it in person. But that little pink place right there is kinda 
fascinating to me. I don't know why it did that, but I like this. I think it's cool. Thank you, Sherry, for showing this, showing us this video because I don't catch mixed, mixed media girl very often, but I'm going to try to catch her more in the future. So thank you, Sherry, and thank you, mixed media girl, and thank all of my subscribers. And if you're new, come back and watch me again. I invite you to come back and spend a little time with me, and you all let me know what you think. Thank you.